Thanks for staying with us right here on uh, Sunrise as we continue this morning. Of course, we're coming to you from uh, the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists. And I'm standing with uh, alumni. Uh, now, these guys have been through this journey before and they are on the other side. They know exactly what the, our young scientists are going through uh, as uh, they participate in uh, the 2017 Expo. And I'm talking to Luan Staphost uh, as well as Balesa Masugu. How are you, Balesa? I'm well and you? I'm good. Um, so when did you participate in the expo? Throughout your high school years, I'm guessing. Where, what are you currently doing? Um, I'm currently doing my master's in clinical pharmacy at Safago Makato Health Sciences University. Okay. And uh, you, Luan? I'm currently on a lecture at the university, Nelson Mandela University in PE, mm -hmm. and I lecture communication studies for science students. So I help them how to do referencing, how to write a thesis, how to ask critical scientific questions. Wow, that's uh, awesome stuff. So now, do you recall when you guys were at this level? Yes, we do. How, how was it like for you? Um, how far back? It was a bit nerve-wracking, mm -hmm. but it was a great experience back mm -hmm. in 2011. In 2011? That yes. Like six years, seven years ago. Yes. Okay. And for you? Well, I took part in Expo from 2008 to 2013. Mm -hmm. And between 2009 and 2013, I was a national finalist. Yeah. Yeah. And in 2013, I won. And it's not that long ago. Yeah. But it's, it's exciting to be back and to feel the energy and remind yourself how it felt when you were here. Okay. So you guys are here, obviously, to share uh, with these young people how your journey has been like um, and uh, to encourage them to say, see, if I did it, you can also do it, right? Yes, okay. um, because I'm, I must say this is a very great experience and it's very phenomenal. Mm. And the opportunities that you get from the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists are limitless. Mm. Yes. And for you? Yes, I, I think it sums up uh, the late, great Dr. Derek Gray, who started the Expo, founded the Expo in 1980. Mm. He always said there's nothing as fair in school as science fair. And I think that's what makes it so exceptional. Yeah, I guess I can. I'm just because uh, I, this. I was excited to come here. As if, I was like, I remember you do a project in class, yes, and then yes. you beat your peers, and then, exactly. then before you know it, you're going to the science fair. It's a whole. But I, but I think what makes it so special is it's your project. Yes. You don't have to do what your teacher tells you. You don't have to do what your mother, your father tells you. Yeah. If you like it, you do it. <laughs> was it the same thing for you? Yes, it was the same thing for yeah. me because you know the normal go to class can sometimes be boring yes. so being outside and doing a lot of experience and actually coming up with new inventions is quite exciting okay so apparently you're working on something now with Murula what um, that was my previous project oh. so what I did is I turned um, Murula pits into charcoal which burns three times longer than your normal charcoal um, coal and chaka briquettes Okay, what did you do? What was your project? Well, my project was in social sciences and I actually did it for a few years. Over a yeah. few years I did my studies mm. and I wanted to see how can music, different types of music, how to drown out different types of sound, how that works on the subconscious can help students perform better in their maths. You know, I always tell everyone, like, if I became a scientist, yes. I would have been a social scientist. That's good. Yeah, yes. like, I Helping just, I'm like, I was like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm telling you yes. in me somewhere down there, so I, I am a social scientist. Yes, but aren't you one? I am. Yes, I am. I you. am. Look at me now. This is exactly. a science experiment. Information. I mean, I'm even wearing the coat. Yes, yes exactly. I mean, that's what I thought this morning. Yes. I was like, I'm going to the <laughs> science fair. But guys, these are young stars who have an opportunity to be exposed to, uh, firstly, see what other young people are doing but at the same time in the from their own minds uh, sort of like solve challenges that we're currently facing how are you guys going to encourage them to say actually this idea that you have now could be an answer for the future challenges that we're facing so what I like to do is tell people my life story mm. because I come from a real village in Rustenburg in Muruleng. Mm. So I usually oh, say... that's why Murula, ne? That's why Murula, <laughs> yes. It's actually named after the Murula food. So I usually say that if you come from a rural area, opportunities sometimes might seem impossible. Yeah. Achieving your goal might sometimes seem impossible. But if I can do it, so can they. You mm. just need drive, dedication, and of course, a lot of hard work. But those sleepless nights will, some, will then turn into brilliant discoveries and you can go very far with that. Wow. And you? Well, I have a similar experience where I, I'm this little Afrikaans boy from PE, from the suburbs, don't know much, doesn't mean something. Yeah. Go to normal high school, don't really do something. I'm not very physical, so I'm not the rugby buff. No, no one in school wants to, I'm not important. Yeah. But through Expo, I yes. could 
do something, I could mean something. Yes. And there I was, this little Afrikaans boy, going to the Nobel Prize giving ceremony and presenting my research to Nobel laureates. Yeah. That was something that I couldn't do without Expo. And we can all do it. Yeah. The Expo gives you that opportunity. Gives you an opportunity to do that. So now, you know, we know our country, yes. you know, the landscape, its breadth, and some of the challenges that, that we're facing. And, and there's different young people who, you know, who come from a small town, you know, but rural uh, town. And at the same time, everyone wants to have access to, to opportunity. But when you come here, for those who are here and that yeah. they're listening to you standing around us, you know, how do they take it to the next level? Well, I think Expo firstly provides that. That's why we have such talented judges, mm. such expertise, people offering up their time to be here, to guide, to mentor. And what I think Expo does wonderfully is also identify and help students to improve their project and do more. Yes, I believe that the ESCOM Expo for Young Scientists is the perfect pl platform mm. to express yourself, especially as a young scientist. Mm -hmm. So this is the first step to their successes. It's the first step. To okay, so maybe I should let you guys go and talk to like future scientists. You yeah. guys are yes. fine, right? Yes. yes. You, you, you've done this before. Yeah. yeah so maybe, <laughs> shucks, there's a lot of them. I don't even know where, where to start. <laughs> but um, start with me. Who said that? Okay, let me. <laughs> you just passed on the mic. You're unbelievable. Come, you missed an opportunity right there, but it's good. You gave it to your friend. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? My name is Mangali Sonton. Where are you from? I'm from Eastern Cape in Tanzania. In Tanzania. Okay, Tanzania is famous for boxers, and you're clearly like, you're going on the other side. Yeah. Okay, so what, did, what brings you here? What are you doing? Uh, I want to innovate uh, my community and I want to take my community to another level. Yes, what, are you do what is it that you're doing to take them to another level? Yes, uh, what I'm doing, uh, my project is titled Taking Voting to Another Dimension. It's whereby I want to design an app that will help people to vote for provincial and local government. You know they're having problems in Kenya now, eh? with their voting uh, situation so yeah. i think that we should send you there to <laughs> yes <laughs> as a country with sadek to go help them solve the problem eh? yeah uh, what, what inspired it uh there are many old people in my community so most of them uh do not go and vote because of uh problems and cues mm. so my project uh, they are going to vote at home yeah. they're going to vote at home yeah using their phones in the 2019 I I election i'm not sure <laughs> <laughs> but in the near future yeah okay, yeah. okay so i guess uh, you know you could work with the iec later on uh, in life, eh? Yeah. Or one yeah. of the political parties and help them. Yeah. Not to rig votes, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, great stuff. All right. Let's let's get a girl, guys. We need a girl. Yes. Yes. As she struts. <laughs> okay. What's your name? I'm Sinao Sikabengu. Okay. Where are you from? I'm from the Eastern Cape. Oh my goodness. I'm Tata Brackets Nelson Mandela. All right. <laughs> Eastern Cape is in the house. Yeah. Okay, so talk to me about what your project is about. Well, my project is about um, reducing household energy use through kettles, yeah. um, combining both um, um, energy efficiency with recycling mm. um, to also reduce um, land pollution. Yeah, yeah, you're solving almost, it's a three in one, hey? Three in one, yeah, Baba. It's a three in one. <laughs> it's a three in one. Okay, so is that your project over there, no? No. Oh, okay. I saw something with a kettle, with the kettle there. Okay, so how's the journey been for you to get to this far? Yo. What did you have to do? Yo, <laughs> it was, yo, I, ha I, ha I, ha I, had, I had to just think. I had to, I slept in a hotel just for thinking. Just for thinking? Just for thinking. <laughs> just for thinking. <laughs> just for thinking. So you went into a hotel to just go think and just say, think. Hmm, this is what I'm going to do. You have nice life problems. <laughs> you have nice life problems. Okay, but I mean, obviously, um, for other young people who their school might not be part of this project, what can you say to them? Guys, last year I joined ESCOM Expo and I didn't get nothing. Mm. Look at me now. Just don't give up, guys. Don't <laughs> give up. Don't give up. <laughs> don't give up. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. I don't know what other inspiration you would need uh, besides uh, these young people. Thank you so much uh, for chatting to us, of course. Uh, we've been talking as well to Palisa Masugu here and Luan Staphost, of course, uh, telling us about their journey uh, to the fair. Uh, that's uh, the Ex ESCOM Expo uh, for Young Scientists 2017. And these two uh, have been through this journey a few years back and they're here uh, to inspire these uh, young people, young scientists, actually, who are here with us uh, this morning. Do stay with us at the Sunrise Live right here on ET.